Hello kids, today we are going to talk about how insects can communicate among themselves. So the first question is what is communication? So communication means exchange of information between individuals. That is how do one person give information to another one? How do we exchange informations? We can either talk, we can wave our hands, we can uh, show that we are happy or we are sad by our facial expression. So that's how we human beings communicate. So the fun question is, how do insects communicate among themselves? So first and foremost, why do insects need to communicate? Insects need to share the information about where they found the food. That is one very important thing. So one insect, for example, an ant found a food somewhere. It has to come back and tell its friends that this is where you have to go and we have to bring the food home. So they need to tell where the food is. Another reason they need to talk to one another or they need to give information, share information is when they want to find a proper partner to lay eggs. So insects, most insects lay eggs. So we need a mother and a father for the baby. So the insects have to find a partner. For that they need to communicate. Another very important reason is if there is a danger somewhere, then the insect has to tell the other insects that don't go in that direction, there is a danger there. So somehow it has to tell its friends that that is where the danger lies. And also another very typical thing about insects, which we humans uh, don't do so prominently, is to mark a territory. There are certain insects which stay in certain region and it won't allow other insects of its kind to come into that region. So it has to mark a territory and that is also done by certain sort of communication. So we have seen it in dogs that if there is a dog in the neighborhood you will find that if another dog comes from the somewhere else this dog keeps on barking and it chases the dog the other dog out so this dog has its own territory so this is also um, very prevalent in insects so going back to the familiar topic how do we communicate we humans firstly we talk i am talking to you and i am communicating i am giving you information right so talking is one of the major way by which humans can communicate we also use our hands we wave our hands we show thumbs up so with all sorts of uh, signs we show we can communicate with one another if you do a great job i show my thumbs up if somebody has um, sung a beautiful song, we clap our hands. So with all this, we can communicate. We can also show the expression on our face. Either we are angry, we are happy, we are sad. All these can be shown by our face, facial expression and that is another sort of communication. I let you know that I am happy or I am sad and so on. Another one is by touch. You know, if you are sad, I pat on your head, your mom comes and hugs you and then you feel happy. So that's how mom shows that she cares about you. So that is another way humans can communicate. So these are things we are familiar with. So the interesting thing would be how do insects communicate? Yeah, that should be a fun question. So let's see what the insects do. They are actually very intelligent and they have very interesting ways of sharing information with one another. Let's see. The first example that I have here is fireflies. I think most of us have seen fireflies in the garden in the dark, in a dark night. You see these blinking lights that go around in your uh, in between trees and leaves and those are nothing but fireflies they are very interesting insects and they have a glowing light at the back so these fireflies because they can create light they can glow 
they communicate with one another by the glowing of these lights and the interesting thing is you know like we talk in different languages we can tell a lot of words and make different sounds so if you have light the way you would have done it is you would blink the lights in different sequences blink 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 so each of these sequence tells that uh, uh, gives a certain information to the other insect and also they can find out their pairs like if you if you find a mate then they can flash and communicate with one another so this is something we uh, sometimes we can't do it ourselves but we may use you can use a torch light and you can blink and give some coded information to your friend who is sitting far away in another window right we can do that sometime maybe so this is how the fireflies communicate so the other way is of course by smell and this is done i have brought out an uh, example like moths this is a picture of a moth and you see that they have two antennas on the top of the head and they really have a very big feathery sort of antenna they don't have nose to smell so how do they smell they smell with their antennas and the one insect gives out some chemicals some smelly chemicals these are called pheromones and the other insect can smell it and that's how they can share information and they can tell you like what's happening uh, they can choose a partner and so on so you see that this big feathers help the insect to smell very small amount of um Uh, chemicals and so they are very sensitive okay so moth is one of the insects which can sense smell and communicate via smelling another insect which we have which are very common and can give out pheromones that is the chemicals that give the smell is ants now you see this is a very tiny nice picture where you see there's a nest and then the ant went out to find food and it found some food somewhere now the problem is the food is big and they all uh, he needs some help from his friends to take the food back home so what will it do it goes back to the nest while it leaves a trail a line of smelly things pheromones as it goes back so once it leaves that smell the when it again goes back with its friends it can just follow the line along the smell and it can reach the food and they can go back and forth i think this is something we all have seen at home or anywhere in the garden you see that ants normally go in a line so they go one after the other and that is because in that line some one of the ants had left a pheromone trail so this the next one smells and it just follows the smell and can go wherever the trail takes it so they don't lose they don't get lost you know like they can it's quite like hansel and gretel you know like you you leave something behind and the other one can pick them up and follow the trail so here ants also give out smell and they communicate via smell so unfortunately ants cannot see well they cannot hear well because they don't have ears so they don't have ears but how do they hear they do hear they can feel the vibrations using their legs so if you are walking somewhere and the ant is going around it it can feel that your uh, the vibrations that generate because you are walking and it can understand that there is something happening though it cannot hear your footsteps because it doesn't have a ear so they can also communicate with one another by touching and uh, so you will many a time you will see the ant uh, the two ants come together and they just you know like move their antennas and touch one another and that's how they are talking basically communicating with one another they are not making sound but they are just touching and by that they can communicate with one another isn't that very interesting so the next insect i have is this beautiful butterflies we all know that butterflies are very beautiful and they have very bright colors now this color itself is a way by which the butterflies communicate and the interesting fact is 
what the way we see the colors is not the way the butterfly sees the colors so they are within the wings and the colors we see there are some hidden colors and only an another butterfly can see those colors so butterflies have very good eyesight because they need to see the colors so they are insects who have superb eyesight and they can communicate via the colors that they generate in their wings the next insect i have is kind of a noisy one just like you kids yeah so in a very in an evening you know if you just carefully stand in your balcony and try to hear the sound of nature you will see that there is a buzzing sound coming from some insects and they are nothing but crickets and we all know that crickets can create sound by rubbing their wings they don't really speak but they just rub their wings together which has some comb like um, fingers on them and when these two fingers rub against one another you get a sound just like you take a two combs and you rub a comb with another one you will see there is a sound generated the same thing happens with crickets they rub their wings and there is a sound and using that sound they communicate with one another you know like one insect is making a sound in one side and then some insect who is far away another cricket which is sitting somewhere far away can also reply to that sound by rubbing its wings it can also mark its territory by this making of a sound that this is where i am and you are not supposed to come nearby this is my place so now that we have uh, seen about colors and the singing of the cricket the next thing is dancing so which insect dances to communicate guess what they are the bees so you see in this corner picture this is the bee dances in a certain pattern and the direction in which these dashed lines the dash 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 line goes tells you the direction in which the nectar is so whenever a bee finds a god a place where there are lots of flowers with lot of nectar it starts to dance and seeing the direction of this motion the other bees can understand which direction the nectar lies or their food is so that brings me nearly to the end of my presentation today and uh, we have seen that insects are actually very interesting beings they can dance they can sing they touch they give uh, they can lay down smell trails or they can even blink and create light and that's how they can really talk to or communicate with each other and that's very very interesting thank you all and see you again in another video bye bye